never thought I would say this to anybody, Stephanie. But I truly, truly wish you were dead. I could never hate anybody as much as I hate you right now for what you did to me. Well, on that note, come in. What is it, Brooke? Did you really think you could pull this off, Stephanie? Did you really think Rich would believe it? You are so desperate that even you have hit an all-time low. What? What are you talking about? You know, at first I thought maybe you were really frustrated and really bored with your life. But you took it all out on me. And now I know it's a lot more than that. You're just a sick, depraved human being that wants nothing more than to destroy me. Well, let me tell you something, Stephanie. I'll bury you before you even get a chance to bring me down. Sounds as though you've already been brought down. Eight years, Stephanie. Eight years of lying and slandering, and you still couldn't get to me. You couldn't even beat me at your own game, so you had to take the next step. And what exactly is that? You can't even admit it, can you? Well, you know what? You don't have to. Because the aroma of your decaying stench is all over it. Let me give you a life lesson, bitch. I will tear you apart if you ever come near my son and daughter again. You're just a pathetic excuse for a woman, Stephanie. <sighs> now stop it. I can see that you're upset. Get a hold of yourself, Brooke, and tell me what's happened, what's wrong. You know nothing about this, right? You are just a shameful, shameful human being, Stephanie. I'm supposed to know what this is all about. Of course you know what it is, Stephanie. It's a letter. You wrote it. A counterfeit letter. It's just your style. Tell me, did you write it alone? You're buying time, Stephanie. Well, it's too late. You're not going to weasel your way out of this one. Ridge already read the letter. Would you be quiet long enough to let me read it? Please? Go ahead. Read the letter. And then I want it back, because I want to show it to my lawyer. Dear Mrs. Forrester, I was very surprised to receive your letter offering to pay me to guarantee the outcome of your daughter's... paternity test. As I understand your terms, you want the test results to show that Ridge Forrester is the child's father, whether or not that is actually the case. Further, you never wish to be informed as to your daughter's true paternity. In exchange for my cooperation, you're willing to pay me the sum of one million dollars. After much deliberation, I'm prepared to accept your offer, but we must proceed with the utmost discretion. Exposure would be disastrous for both of us. Please destroy this letter immediately and refrain from any further written communication. I'll be in touch sincerely. Dr. Tracy Peters. And I'm supposed to have written this? I know you wrote it, Stephanie. It's definitely your style. But what I can't believe is that you would stoop so low and involve your granddaughter. Has Rich seen this letter? Yes, he read it. He must be devastated. Well, of course he's devastated. He's horrified to think that this was a possibility. Stephanie, you've really done it right this time. Not only have you pushed your granddaughter away, but you've pushed Ridge away, too. He'll never speak to you again. Ever. Ridge knows that I would never forge that letter. You know it. You damn well know I didn't forge it. And you know what? I'd bet a million bucks it's true. You bribed that doctor, didn't you? What? What did you think that you were going to accomplish by coming over here like this? I don't believe what you're doing, Stephanie. Did you think that if you accused me, you would take the focus off of yourself? Brooke, that's not going to work. No one's going to believe that. How dare you? You really thought you were going to get away with this, didn't you? That's <laughs> so stupid. You know what's even more stupid? That you didn't destroy that letter. Stephanie, you are not going to lay this on me. You lying bitch! Don't you do that to me. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. 
Wouldn't I? Stephanie, nobody is going to believe that I wrote this letter. Of course they're going to believe it. It's true. Haven't you always based the whole premise of your relationship with Ridge that it was important that he was the father of that little girl? Well, obviously, you've gone to great lengths to prove that that's the case. So what are you going to do, Stephanie? You're going to tell everybody in the world that I, I paid off some doctor? And where'd the money come from? A million dollars doesn't just fall from the sky. I'm sure you had your bases covered. This is Rich's baby, and I'm not going to argue with you. Because you can't. You know, I could really just kill you. Oh, stop it. You're finished. <laughs> oh, you are finished. I'm finished? What about you, Stephanie? You're finished. You're finished with your granddaughter. You're finished with Ridge. Nobody in this family is going to want to deal with you once this gets out, Stephanie. I am just so happy that this happened before the wedding because you and I both know he's not going to marry you now. He's not going to have anything to do with you. He's not even going to look at you. You better make sure you have that letter tucked away privately someplace so you can take it to the lawyer because you're going to need it. And now you get the hell out of my house. And you get the hell out of my life. And you take that bitch mother of yours with you back to Paris. And don't try and take your children. Don't you try and take them out of the country because we'll go to court and prove that you're an unfit mother. Now, get the hell out. 